This is my 300 gallon saltwater pond, which houses some of the coolest fish I've ever owned, including a giant ghost eel that is all white, some awesome giant angelfish, a panther grouper that is growing by the second, some starfish, shrimp, and even a giant stingray that is absolutely awesome. Now the goal of today's video is to find another awesome, savage, and cool fish that can go in my 300 gallon saltwater pond. Let's do it. We are focusing on the saltwater pond today, baby. Now the saltwater pond has been absolutely terrific ever since we got it. It has been an absolute staple in the fish warehouse. I absolutely love having a 300 gallon saltwater pond. You can pretty much put anything you want in there and everything that I want gets big and needs a lot of space. So perfect to have a 300 gallon tank for all the epic fish that you can buy for a saltwater pond. Now the comment shout out of the day goes to Big Craig. Big Craig, you are the man. I always see your comments down there. He says, FGC, you're a beast. Keep it coming. Absolutely, guys. I am not stopping anytime soon. FGC is gonna be on YouTube for a long time. So make sure you're strapped in. Subscribe to the notification bell on because we're not going anywhere. If anything, we're gonna turn this thing into the number one channel on YouTube and, be, uh, and have six billion subscribers. So go ahead and jump on the train now before you miss out. Now our membership shout out goes to Kiefer Hurley. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Kiefer Hurley, shout out to you for becoming a member of the channel and joining the channel. Once again guys, the memberships have been coming in a lot and I absolutely love the support. It's been ridiculous, you guys are amazing. It's so awesome having a fan base that really gets behind the creator and wants them to make epic videos and that's what I wanna do for you guys. I wanna make awesome videos so I really, really freaking appreciate the support and if you are a member, go spam those emotes in the comments. Drop them down below. Now to be honest with you guys today, I don't know what exact fish I want to get from the store. I'm gonna go have a look, but whatever is the most badass, vicious, coolest fish in that store, I will be buying and putting in the saltwater pond. That is just a 100% fact. No doubt, you know FGC is gonna get the best fish at the store. Now listen, I know you guys have seen all the clutter in the fish warehouse. Like, it is just absolutely stacked on top of each other, and we need to do some massive upgrades in this fish warehouse. So, let's get this video to 1,000 likes, so I know you guys wanna see an awesome upgrade video, where I turn this thing into a full-blown, real fish warehouse. I think that needs to be done, so let me know by dropping a like on this video if it gets 1,000 likes. I'll be remodeling this entire thing, because I think it needs it. And it will give us room for it absolutely ridiculous stuff. I even had an idea of putting tanks in here, a big 300 gallon, because when I went to Colorado, me and Jack actually did some fishing for rainbow trout and brown trout and all that stuff. We didn't actually catch anything because uh, we had to go to this lake and we only had like an hour to fish and it wasn't really that good at fishing, but we did see a lot of trout. And just look how awesome these fish are. Imagine having a tank with rainbow trout and brown and brooks trout. First things first, I gotta make sure that they're legal to keep in Florida, so I'm not jumping to any conclusions. It was just an idea. I think they're absolutely awesome fish, but they need really cold water. So I'm gonna have to get a chiller. The tank's gonna be like six degrees. It's gonna be a lot of work. So if you guys do wanna see that, let me know in the comments. I think it'd be freaking awesome, but that is a huge project for another time. Now back to the goal of the video, the saltwater pond, baby. Let's go, we got fish to buy, fish to get. I cannot wait to see what's at the store and to show you what I'll be getting today. Now let's go get ourselves an awesome fish. We are on the way to the store and I'm not sure what to expect, but I'm filming this on a Thursday and Thursday is the day that this specific store gets all of their shipments. So that could mean one of two things. First thing it can mean is that they could bring in uh, about 900 Neon Tetras that nobody wants. That is the first option. Actually, maybe they'll bring in an occasional clownfish, an occasional clownfish. Option number two, is they went absolutely hard this week and actually got some cool stuff. I'm talking eels, sharks, groupers. I need cool stuff in my life. That's what I need. I don't need little babies. I need cool killers. That's what I need. So cross your fingers. We're on the way to the store. Hopefully they have something good in there. That's what we're hoping. We're hoping for an awesome fish.
Ladies and gents, a fish has been acquired now. From those clips, can you guys guess which fish I got? Just, I'm just curious, I'm just curious. Take a second to guess in the comments because uh, if you know me, I think you'll know which fish I got. I got a really, really dope one. He's vicious and he's badass. I got a really, really damn cool fish in this bag right here. You guys are gonna freaking love him. We need some good damn names in the comments. I cannot wait to get back to my house to show you what I got, but I think we need some fuel first. What do you say? Wow, look at that. Extra crispy pizzas. I know, it's really an unhealthy lunch, but I'm so hungry. Look at that. Huh, look good. Holy fuck, it's hot. Wow. Pizza and Coke could very well be the most unhealthy lunch. I usually don't have this bad of lunches. But sometimes you just need a Coke and a pizza. Cheers. Let's get back to the house and check out that fish. We are back at the fish warehouse. Welcome. I know you're excited. So am I. And once again, gotta show you the minnows because you guys seem to love them too, just much, just as much as I do. Again, put your hand in. They just nibble at your your arm. Ah, kind of annoying. I think we should give them some shrimp. Some beautiful large shrimp right here. And everybody loves this stuff in this pond. Just watch how crazy they go. Now we got our trusty shrimp here. Let me break off a little piece and watch how absolutely nuts these minnows go for this shrimp. First of all, I just get a little bit of juice in there. Let Lou, our red tailed catfish, figure out that there's shrimp in this pond. He will come right up and feed. But look at this. Drop one, drop a piece in like this. Look at them all. They go swarming at it. They're absolutely swarming that. I love that so much. The minnows are like, they're like my boys, man. The minnows are awesome. Absolutely love them. They absolutely just go nuts over shrimp. Looking right there, just absolutely going to town on that. And then once Lou smells what I got in my hand, he's gonna come right up and eat. Let's try to throw one in for the tarpon. Nope, the minnows got it first. And he won't mess with the minnows. The minnows, oh, there's Lou. Come here, buddy, right here. Oh, he got it, I dropped it. Let me give him another one. I got a whole one for you right here, bro. Come on, there he goes. Whole shrimp down the hatch. That fish is kick ass. I love that fish so much. He's gonna be an absolute giant and he's gonna be worth a lot of dough because that's a phantom red tail catfish. Look, even the turtle comes out. Watch, the turtle see that shrimp on the bottom there? I like throwing little bit of pieces here. So once they hit the bottom, that turtle comes and smokes it. The tarpon wants one. There he goes, there's the tarpon. You couldn't see it because the glare. I love the glare in this. Tarpon, where are you? Go eat. You gotta eat that, boom, there he goes. Tarpon's loving life. Everyone's loving life in here. But now, we're getting a new addition for the saltwater pond. So let's see what we got. Now this fish right here, I'm telling you guys, he is a badass killer. If you put your hand in the tank, and he mistakes it for another fish, or a piece of shrimp, your finger's gone. He's taking a chunk out of your finger, you're gonna have some battle wounds and some battle scars. This thing does not mess around. This is a serious, serious fish. And he's a perfect addition for this saltwater pond because He's not gonna be hiding in the rocks. Maybe at night he will, but during the day, he's gonna be out and about swimming at the surface of the water, and he's gonna look awesome. Okay, ready? It's not puffer status, but it's up there. Here we go. I cannot wait to show you. Let me get this double bag off so you can really get a good look at him right when I pull it out. Let's go, he's gonna look so good in here. It's gonna be a perfect addition. You guys ready? Now, maybe you guessed that I got this fish, but check that out, that is a Clown trigger, the most vicious trigger. They got the sharpest teeth. And look, he's already pissed. Look at him trying to go, at, go, trying to go after you guys. Look at that fish right there. That is a clown trigger for the pond. He's gonna be up on the surface of the water, eating everything he can. Clams, crabs, shrimp, eating everything that we feed him, that we drop in there, he's gonna wanna smoke. So let's get this guy acclimated, and then let's get him in the pond. All right, I think he's just about done acclimating now. We're gonna get him in this net. I'm gonna show you guys this fish up close. Super badass for this pond, trust me. Okay, we got him in the net. Now here he is, I don't wanna get bit by this guy. Here he is, absolute stud. Look at that fish right there. Now I'm not sure how big he'll get, I think they get pretty big, but this guy is going in the pond. Here he goes. Here he goes, I'm putting it on the sand so you guys can see him, look at that guy. Look at that fish right there. Absolute beast! Let's go baby! We got a clown trigger in the pond. Let's roll some awesome clips. Now that fish right there is gonna be an absolute beast for this pond. I cannot, I cannot wait to feed him, feed him some live shrimp, 
feed him some live fish. He's gonna be such a beast. All right guys, that's gonna do it for today. We got a clown trigger for the saltwater pond that is absolutely awesome. We finally got a, a top swimmer for the pond. That's, ab that's absolutely gonna be badass for this pond right now. So I'm stoked we got him. You guys should be pumped too. Drop a like on this video if you guys enjoyed. See you in the next video, FGC out.